in his hands? What really is in his hands? What really was in his hands? If we could only behold what is in his hands. What went into his hands? There was nails in his hands. There was nails bigger than these I'm holding right here. It was in his hands all right, but he wasn't holding them like this. It was driven into his hands. It was driven into his hands. It was driven into his hands because he was truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, come to take away our sins, come to take away our pains. Every time the hammer hit one of the head of those nails and he drove it through his hand and into the tree, there was the power of Almighty God taking away your pain, taking away your suffering, taking away your heartache, tears streaming down Jesus' face, and He said, Father, forgive them. Jesus is our example. He is our example. And right there on the cross, right there on the cross, He stated the theme for this camp. He said, into your hands, Into your hands. Into your hands I commit myself. Here am I. Here am I. In a few minutes he was gone. Just right now on Main Street. Hallelujah. Main Street. Not the heart of Texas. The heart of hell. Main Street pits of hell. He was marching right down the Main Street pits of hell. Every demonic power bowing before him. Marched straight up and in his hands. In his hands. The nails where they had been driven. He marched up to the devil. Where's my set of keys? Anybody got a set of keys? To the devil. Regardless of what the devil wanted to do. The devil had the keys for a long time. But Jesus marched right up to him. He didn't even have to say a word. He was the word. He didn't have to open his mouth. He didn't have to say, devil, do you know who I am? reached out. He looked the devil right in the eyes and the devil just began to melt. The devil stood tall. The devil stood tall. And he had the keys of death, hell, and the grave. And he had the power within his hands. But as Jesus just come marching down and as all the demonic forces in the power men of hell, all the big bouncers that the devil had he just marched right all through them just like there was nothing and they fell on the right and they fell on the left and he marched up to him and when he got up to the devil the devil just began to melt he just began to melt down hallelujah and Jesus just looked him right in the eyes and with the eyes of the power of almighty God he stretched out his hand and when he stretched out his hand
Brother Bagley, I thought they was the keys to death, hell, and the grave. As long as the devil had them, there was. But once Jesus had them in his power, brother, they're the keys to my life. All of a sudden, he began to break the bread and to give to him, to them. And when he broke the bread and he gave, then the, their eyes was open and they saw, well, that's all Jesus. That's the one that was dead. He's not dead anymore. He's alive. They looked at one another and they said, we should have known that it was him because our hearts was burning. They said, I commit. Lord, I commit. Lord, I commit. Or I give you my life. I put my life into your hands. Stretch out your finger here. Touch my hand. Feel the prints in my hands, Thomas. Here, Thomas, just put your hand there into my side. And be not faithless. Simply believe. For it is I. It is I. You can live now, Thomas. And we're going to teach him about what's in his hands. But you know what's in his hands now? The nail prints. He's not on the cross anymore. He's risen. But He bears it. He bears it for you. I want you to come by.